uh, go ahead, Jason. I was going to say the same thing. You were, did Isaiah Tristan do anything today? <clears throat> yeah, they, um, they did. Afterwards, yeah. What about during? We didn't, we didn't do much. Just walked some defensive stuff and got a lot of shots and shooting up. They did that. Are, uh, is, are either of them playing tomorrow? No, Isaiah's not playing. Um, got to see how T-Top feels after today and um, see how he feels in the, tomorrow. But the plan is tomorrow, yes. If Tristan does go, how would you use him? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> How close is Isaiah to, to playing? I'm not sure. Um, the biggest thing is just to make sure, you know, he's 100%. I'm not trying to rush him back. Um, and um, that's the biggest key, so we don't have any setbacks. I know you said you didn't do a lot. Did today fulfill practice for him? For who? For Isaiah. Um, because I know, like, typically, traditionally, you want to get a guy. Well, to yeah, today we just we watched a lot of film, um, walked through a lot of defensive coverages for like 30 minutes, and then we did a lot of shooting. So then, you know, after that, they played four, on, I mean, three on three. So um, I guess you can say it was a practice. But, but to be clear, Tristan and Isaiah both competed in the three on three. Yes. Have you had the conversation with Tristan yet about what, what his role is or maybe how it might be different now that he's coming back with some of the things that transpired when he was out? Not yet. Um, just make sure he's going to be able to play tomorrow. So we'll see how he feels. And um, he pretty much knows what's going on. Regardless of how you use him, you guys are role playing really well. Are you concerned at all with disrupting the flow and the chemistry and the rhythm that you've established? I mean, you're good players are bringing back. But you got a good thing going right now. I mean, it's, it's part of the game. You know, everyone goes through it. And um, Tristan's a big part of what we do. So, you know, how we got to figure out how we got to use them, you know, we got to do that. So um, I have a plan in place, and we'll just see how it works. It's obvious that at minimum you guys don't want to share uh, when, I, when Isaiah's coming back, if you even know. But my question is, internally, do you have an, uh, an idea or a target for when you're going to bring him back and ease him into things? Who? Isaiah. I mean, I don't understand the question. Internally, do you know when he's coming back? I don't. So, the, so it's, it's actually up in the air within the organization. So yeah, I don't know when. Yeah, I don't know when he's coming back. Which was some being. I wish up. I did, so you can quit asking me. <laughs> <laughs> I really, no, I'm, I really yeah. do. I really wish I knew, sure. so I could share it. So you don't have to ask it every day. But I really don't know. I'm not hiding it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Same time <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really, truly, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, and I it's, don't. it's tiresome for us. Yeah, I know. I understand. I know it's, yeah. it's your job, and I understand yeah. that, but I really don't know. I'm yeah. not hiding it from you. With Tristan being out, where did you miss him the most? Just rebounding. Um, rebounding the basketball, his energy. I think defensively being able to guard, you know, four or five positions on the floor. And, um, you know, we missed that. You know, rim protection. So um, he's big for what we do. How did you feel about the minutes that Channing provided during that time that Tristan was out? Because Channing, at the beginning of the season, you said you didn't know exactly when his minutes were going to come and what, what his uh, Channing was, was great. I mean, just you know, have him on the floor, the chemistry that him and Corver have together in that second unit is unbelievable. And you know, Channing's gotten better at passing the basketball in split action. Um, when he catches, he has a half shot right to the DHO. So just his activity and movement with him and Corver together has been great for us. You mentioned that chemistry that they have together. Does that go into the process of where you're going to reintegrate Tristan? Um, Chan and Corbett, be, they'll be together. Good job, Chris. Well, I mean, but the other <laughs> thing with Tristan is if you start him, that changes a lot of what you do. I'm not going to start Tristan. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Hello. How are you doing? I'm not going to ask just, you about Tristan or Isaac. Good. <laughs> does, does Tristan know that already? What? Well, yes. Yes. And how's Kevin? He's good. Yeah, he uh, we went through practice today and worked out after practice, so um, he's feeling he's feeling better. Was the 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 decision to not start Tristan was that um, in large part due to how effective Kevin has been at the five and, and that coming through the way that you wanted it? And to? just yeah, and how we've been playing. You know, we've been playing good basketball right now and have a good flow and a good rhythm. And Tristan understands that, and um, so we're just gonna keep it the same way for right now. What has made the Hawks tough cover for you guys? <laughs> I think Schroeder. Um, his, you know, he improved his jump shot. He's shooting the three a lot better, shooting the pull-up jumper a lot better. So you can't really go under as much, you know, because he can make that shot. Um, his speed and quickness, you know, you try to switch one through four, and you know, still a, it's, it's, it's a mismatch. 
and then with the five, he tried to blitz them. They got guys rolling to the basket and they could finish at the rim. So, and then they got shooters all around them, Bazemore and Babbitt, and you know those guys can can make shots, but also put the ball on the floor. So, um, when you have you know four or five guys on the floor that can shoot, but also put the ball on the floor, it makes it tough. When Tristan got hurt, Kevin kind of talked like, "I'm just holding the fort down until Tristan gets back." You think Kevin's kind of come to grips with? This. Keep holding the fort down, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, it's frustrating. It's a little bit beyond frustrating at this point, you know, because I'm like I just told I just told Tim I'm like we should be tired of coming in here and saying on to the next one, on to the next one. You run out of games eventually, you know, and. You continue to drop in seedings like all of the, like these games matter. You know, we play them two times in a year, but these games still matter on your record. So you know, these are important games and games that we need to win and we should have won. And, and he's right, you know, and and he's going to start calling people out. He's going to start playing people that he thinks is, that needs to play, and and that's what's going to start happening. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough because it puts them. In, it's, it's a tough situation on on either side. On on from their perspective, like they understand what I was saying. Like you're taking the basket away. Um, you know, regardless of how how early you're starting the clock. Um, and then when you do start the clock, you know we get the ball there versus getting the ball back to where you started the clock early from. I didn't I didn't necessarily understand it. And then you take a point point one seconds off the clock. You know, all of that matters. But at the end of the day, we still shouldn't. Have, we still shouldn't have been in that position anyway. No, no, not ever, not ever, not ever. To me, that's kind of like going back and reviewing a shot clock violation. <coughs> like, this is, it's kind of the same thing to me. Like, you, the clock goes off, but it was easy to shot. You either made the shot on time or it was late. This time, you start the clock early. Why don't you just wait until I actually catch the ball and then you start the clock? See, what, see how much time was that. But, I'm not the league, so. I was supposed to curl around March, but the way he was playing me, they were just going to switch it, and I didn't, I didn't like the way that they were set up, so I just cut real quick down the middle, see if I can get a quick one to the basket. But obviously, DeAndre on the ball, that's going to be tough to do. But I was supposed to come back in, it was going to be a gate, close the gate, and I was supposed to pop back for the three. He said uh, I felt like the violation was, was going to come, but. I told him, I said, you just gotta let the ref make their decision. They, they're not gonna, they can't take two two baskets away from us. You know, even if I didn't get the ball, like you might have been open on the slip because two would have ran to me. You know, so I just told him to run the play all the way through, and we just see how it works from there. But it's over. It's not his fault. You know, we shouldn't have been in that position from the get go. It's our it's our aggressive our aggressiveness. You know, we gotta we gotta learn how to put teams away. You know, we gotta learn how to keep our foot on the gas and. You know, don't get bored with success. You know, don't get bored with you know, who's scoring. Doesn't matter who's scoring. It doesn't matter who has the ball. It doesn't matter none of that. You know, it's clearly our defense. You know, and then when we don't def when we don't make shots and then we don't defend or you don't get the ball. You know, you don't defend. You know, you don't rebound. You know, it, everything is a carryover and everything is like I said last game. It's just too inconsistent with us. We gotta we gotta be more consistent. Like we show too many spurts versus a whole game of playing the right way. Oh, it was tough. Um... Lou makes a big shot. Uh, um, Austin Rivers gets a three. You know, offensive rebound. Got to get that rebound. Better execution at the end. So, um, got to win those games. I think the clock you know, just ran a little bit early. Um, you know, uh, they got to do better with that. But, um, you know, still shouldn't put ourselves in that situation. Um, but, um, yeah, I think they have to do better with that. Uh, just some. Um, Impact the game, uh, play with energy, uh, move the ball, score. I kind of had it going tonight, so I just picked my spots and uh, you know play with the team and make passes and just play. And guys have to step up, uh, accept the challenge. Um, you know, uh, watch film, do whatever you got to do, get in the gym, bring it. I don't, I don't know. Listen to music, whatever you got to do to get yourself going. Uh, it's a long season, but every night you got to come out and bring it. So um, yeah, that.